What is up guys welcome back to another One Piece I can't stop reading One Piece at the moment so this is chapter 960 introducing Kosuki Odin so finally we are going to have a chapter where he no longer a silhouette okay so this is back in uh, what 30 35 years ago I think uh, the past okay so let's see the cow page so cow page the <laughs> page is actually you know stalking other girls hoping he would find Lola so on the search find Lola volume number 10 so obviously let's keep our notebook open just in case you know you never know so 950 we did 958 959 uh, chapter double reaction in the last uh, well for last chapter anyway so Okoboro town is in fire all bridges are blown everyone is ready to uh, everyone is ready but nobody made it not sure where they are they didn't even inform Kiyomon so there's a few things I read up and uh, you know watching few reviews and stuff got me thinking well not got me thinking some information actually came directly from them so one like for example what if there was a trader actually within Kiamon team and he noticed I mean like Law noticed and informed Luffy and others so they didn't show up that's the reason and they didn't inform Kiamon because the trader is within Kiamon team and they don't want that to be you know updated to Orji again and uh, there's when I was reading 958 something I really missed which you know I was looking at Orji action you know looking to find the crew there was a, one weird egg we don't know what that egg is about but it was there for some reason so we are looking to find out what they're gonna be about and let's see when Nekomoshi gonna uh, show up and how this is gonna unfold but for now we're gonna go into Kozuki Odin past okay so we have Luffy statue God Usab with his you know historical face and then Kyo, uh, Kiros face as well so let's go and find to the next one so they took a photo of Chiffon I think and he's actually using that to find Lola because you know since they're twin next page oh all right, lush deep forest. As as far as okay, just a second before I get into this, the last page is. I mean, he's looking for Lola, but then the last page say Lola left. I mean, Lola was here a couple like few days ago. I thought she would have left. That's why they met, put it that way. Uh, but anyway, lush deep forest. As far as I can see, where flowers and plants grow thick and verdant from the pure cursing river water leading to the crystal blue sea this is the story of Wano I quote one okay so this is before obviously these factories and everything showed up so they showing us what was the life like before uh, before Kaido took over this is the story of Wano. Uh, I quote one from the times when life was still abundant. Okay, it's true. I saw it. The mountain was moving. The mountain? That's right. We were running for our lives from a moving mountain just now. It was groaning at us. Okay, so there was a moving mountain while they were here. That might be the work of the mountain goat. Waitress tea house at the Cape Miss Utsuru. Oh, okay. But why is that? Why is it that you two, uh, you three look so pleased? Hmm. Uh, we just can't hide anything from you, Utsuru. Okay, we will let you in on the secret, Utsuru, but only for you. See, the truth is. We finally caught the legendary animal we've been looking for. It took us an entire year of searching. What is the legendary animal they're talking about? Oh, look at this little guy. Oh, what a beautiful white boar. If we take this boar to the capital, we could get a wool platinum for him. Wow, one platinum coin? That's enough to build a gorgeous home. Look at Tsuru. He is so surprised. Anyway, the... Krokoma was warned the legend army white boar to display outside his 
place for all to see. There was a bounty on the beast but no one was ever able to find it. As a sideshow? No. White boys are the agents of God, of the God. Daha, oh you are so sweet. It's just a rare creature, that's all. Oh, just a moment. Okay, kudung. Okay, there's some sort of sound. And we see Kiamon. It's like, ding, okay. Hey. You are just taking money from my purse again, weren't you? Fess up, Kiamon. Ah, stop, Miss Sue. We known each other since we were kids. Okay, I don't think that's give you the right to just go and take money from their purse, is it? Come on, your brother in spirit needs some cash. Since when were you my brother? You are out of money because you gambled away. Do you know how much money you owed me already? The next time you try to steal from me, I will collect what's mine by selling your organ. Look at Otsuru, she became like Nami and yeah, we did actually see this with uh, Otama as well when she was feeding Otama. But anyway, if you can't pay me back, I'm going to shake you down for everything you got on you. Clothes included. And he ran away. Well, Otsuru, thanks for the food. We will just leave the payments here on the table. Okay, and Kiamon heard about this platinum coin, right? There's a chance, good chance he might think about stealing it. Anyway, let's see. Ah, it's you, that man we just saw. Wahaha, did, I, did you think I couldn't hear you blapping on and on? Thank for the tip about your ball worth one platinum. Look like today was, today is my lucky day. Tuck from the capital, tuck from the capital, Kiamon. I feel like I just won the lottery. All I have to do is hand this over to the Krokoma boss and boo boo. Hey you, give me your clothes and your wallets. Oh, well it seems that Lord Odin has no talent for sailing. He attempt he has attempted to break our law and sail to sea. Uh, I believe this is thirty eight times now. I'm amazed he survived that all uh, them all. Okay, to quickly sum up his life thus far, before the age of one, he threw his wet nurse, threw his wet nurse to the ground. At age two, he was quick enough to catch two hearts at once, calves at once. At age four, he obliterated a beer by hurling a boulder at it. <laughs> By age six, he was regularly visiting the pleasure halls and spending the palace's money. Shogun of Wano, Kosuki Sukiyaki. Okay, so that's uh, Odin's father. So even Odin's father, we got revolt, but we still haven't got revolt Odin yet. At the age of eight, in in a drunken rage, he engaged in brawl with other gamblers, and by nine, he was on the Yagusa blacklist forbidden from entering the gambling den okay oh wait I think we've gone too far wait let's see where are we all right there we go in revenge he set fire to den and waged war on Yagusa he was arrested for assault and that was at just 10 years of age for rehabilitation as a prisoner, he, uh, he was sent to the quarry where his talent blossomed. In fact, he rose to the rank of chief stone mansion and that's the Kosuki blood in him. From there, he left prison and reformed his ways. When Lord Odin was 14, the capital was in terrible drought, unable to bear the sight of people suffering from dried out wells. He curved the, curved the river itself to run through the capital, the result float damage led to another warrant for his arrest. But Lord Odin attempted to ride that river directly out of the country, at which he also failed. Dude, the amount of failure he have. Uh, okay, that's still a slow it over there. Then, when he was 15, he threatened the priest of Surrender Mountain Temple into sheltering him. He threatened the priest to shelter him. He would abduct women from the capital late at night to take back to his own personal harem. 
It's like something a spirit or goblin would do. Kya ha 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 wa ha ha ha. Okay. I should add, however, that the women were always free to leave if they wanted to. Oh, okay, that's interesting. This, however, provoked the ire of the men in these women's lives. Father, husbands, hardy samurai who joined their cause. Lord Oden gleefully met them in battle. Okay, with two. Look at him. Look at him. He's like ah, he's screaming and then coming with two katana. This is widely known now as the <laughs> Haram War. Even the Hyogro family was drawn into the fight when he attempted to restore peace. The total number of casualties caused by Lord Oden single-handedly was over. Okay, enough. I heard enough. Yes, sir, Lord Oden is now 18. He is at a proper age and like according to our country right now. <laughs> I read so much and I was, basically Orden is bad, Orden is bad, Orden is bad, Orden is bad, he did this, he did this, he did this, he did this, he did this. He tried to do good things but they end up being bad so, sometime. Except, you know, he take kidnaps women and then but they don't leave afterward. So that tells you about his uh, his life. Anyway, uh yes sir. Lord Orden is now eighteen and he continues to stir up trouble at the at a healthy rate. Say nothing to Odin. Just give him this. Okay, what is this? This own this own is this is it saying disownership? Anyway, let's see. Okay. It's actually, you know, his father is giving something to Odin. Don't let him get away this time. He went that way. It's Kiamon. Okay, now 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 just a moment, I say. I'm about to come into a big sum of cash. We know you are lying, you cheater. It's true. Just let me go to Krokoma family mansion. Kiamon, ah, huh? the kid who stole our money. Catch him and flay all the, all the skin of his body. Just don't fight him man to man. He is stronger than any of you. Haha, ah, nice joke, boss. We will catch him into in no time. Okay, so he will grow the flower. He basically said he is really strong. Don't catch him. Just, you know, take all his skin off. Damn. You know, being the Yakuzaya of capital, it's no joke. You bought the... You bought the wrong pot. Well, the larger kind will cost you 60 silver. Okay, yeah, so will you take back the 30 silver pot I bought earlier in exchange? Yes, of course. And I already paid you 30 silver when I first bought this one. Plus value of the pot makes 60 silver, so I will take the big one. That checks out. Pleasure doing business. Okay. Alright, he he. Orphan of the capital, Denjiro. Okay, it seems like he do trading business. Doesn't Denjiro look so similar to uh, Zoro's master? I mean, there was a theory about him being... Zoro's master but you know it didn't really get well because he had to come from there all the way here to within 20 years but we don't know what happened anyway half of you got to be kidding me he just built 30 silver of that guy wake up general store hey Denjiro huh what the how come I only have 30 silver now okay so this guy just realized that he got you know he didn't get the money he's supposed to get. Alright. Ceremony Flower Capital. Sir Samurai, please, you must stop him. Like Grandpa Katuts Katusu. There, there, don't cry. Then again, it is funeral, so crying is expected. What's the matter? The cremation is finished, so the family was going to go in the collect in to collect the bones but look look at him he is boiling pot of Odin over my father's remaining Odin you say Lord Odin yo this guy is messed up look at him okay so we actually go to see Shogun well Odin and like 
previous Shogun and future Shogun at this timeline. But he... He is making Odin... He's boiling a pot of Odin over the far... Like, you know, they burn the body. When they burn the... It, it, it's so messed up. Like, ah, oh, fey, I can't even tell what he is saying. Get away from father's remaining. He is disgracing my father-in-law's death. Okay, so he's trying to say something, but he's stuffed. Okay, gulp. And then he's a drink. He drink like Zoro, actually. And... There come more food. He drink like Zoro, eat like Luffy. So there's a reason why um, Pirate King actually like him. All right, and then okay, he finished the pot. You can see it's actually steamy, but he's still drinking and he's sweating. Is like so long then. Plunk. The next drink we share together will come in the afterlife. Cut to so. And now. If the family will pardon my interruption, I'm sorry, he never explained himself. What? Is that what was going on? Oh my, what a man. Oh no, stop the wives and daughters. So that's one of the legendary Odin speeches. That's a legendary Odin speeches? Okay, so he came and shared a meal with the dead person. You know how they offered uh, food for the dead. I don't know if you uh, I have the tradition what we do as well. But he decided to do it while that guy is still burning. All right. And then he put the, one of those, you know, those uh, scented, ca it's like candle sort of things and it's burning. Okay. Have you come here to apprehend me? Yes, but I will accept a bribe too. You are not supposed to say it. What is going on here? No one avoid me like usual. Seems there's a fire that got them preoccupied. The bells have been ringing. Oh, okay. Hey, is it a big fire? It's not the fire that's big. Okay, then what is big? Alright. What happened? Don't you know what that is, Kin? You shouldn't be carrying that thing around. What's this white bow? Don't you think Krokoma boss is trying to use it to destroy the Hyokuro family? Oh, what do you mean, Denjiro? I mean that wherever that piglet is found, the adult boar is sure to come charging. Oh, the ancient scrolls say it's white boar the size of a mountain. That's what they call the mountain goat. Okay, so this is what they were talking about at the beginning. There is a story about to destroy. Uh, there is a story about it destroying an entire village in the course of a night, several hundred, several hundred years ago. I always thought it was just a tale, but now that I seen this white bow for myself, the big one must be. And then everybody screaming, "The mountain goat! The mountain goat is real." We will all be divert. Many have scummed already. Abandon the capital. Flee for your lives. Like snork snork. It's come for revenge. Did I accidentally doom the capital? That was a fascinating story you said. Whoever you are. Kosuki Odin. Give that boat to me. Huh? Alright. So. That's the end of this chapter. So 960, we got to introduce to Odin, and Odin is one weird man. I mean, he, you know, technically from what it, is, it seems like, he is not a bad when it's like, he's not bad, bad, but then, yeah, I guess he lived life, his life too free, I mean freely, and all the girls are over him, and... He seems pretty strong, nobody bothered to, you know, fight him, and his father hate him. <laughs> so, overall, it's almost like Luffy and uh, Garp situation, but not really, nah, I can't put it that way. 
so far I'm not a big fan of Oren, but it, it's gonna turn out to be he's good. Um, but so I'm looking forward to it. So Kin and Denjiro they have met Oren at this point, so they're gonna eventually turn into you know his followers. So I'm looking forward to it. So I'm assuming uh, Kiyomon actually gonna act, you know see him fight and then start to follow him from there. I guess because he is technically strong and Denjiro tricking people. So I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, so Denjiro, you can see he's wearing a sunglasses, but then Zoro must wear almost similar glasses, but it is, you know, like uh, clear glasses. Anyway, that's pretty much it for me. The mountain god is on his way, and we're going to see Odin versus the mountain god. That's going to be really interesting. That's pretty much it for me for this chapter, guys. Overall, a good chapter. You know, it's not fast-paced as we expected, but it's a character introduction chapter, and that was a lot to read. And we we seen what Odin could do and what he have done and what he's going to do. So I I'm so looking forward to seeing how he became an old like um, shogun and then how he got betrayed. And also I'm pretty sure we're gonna get to see Pirate King's past as well. At least some of it from Odin leaving Wano and then coming back. That part we already saw the part he's coming back. You know after they find the One Piece. I'm I'm pretty sure after they find one piece they were coming back uh to leave Odin. you know he wanted to become a shogun at that point well not he wanted to but he will become a shogun at that point so i am looking forward to it let me know what you guys think about this chapter in the comment section overall i'm happy uh if you enjoy the reaction do give a thumbs up if you are new subscribe guys and bell symbol for the next next chapter notification Thank you so much for reading with me. Have a wonderful day or night, people. And see you guys with more videos.